Another one of my projects is my order of operations projects. And I, I did two of them this year. And this one will take about a week to do. And this is really good for algebra, advanced algebra, any advanced students or even regular students. Um, here's another adaptation I did. Uh, they're doing this one here. And what this is, is that the students need to take a number. So for example, this one, we're using 1879. This is when, uh, the birth year of Einstein. And we're gonna try to get the numbers one to 100 using just the digits one, eight, seven, nine. And we're gonna need to use the cube root, plus and minus, multiplication, division. And they can use any integer exponent. So for example, 39, oh, 39 looks a little tricky there. We use the cube root of eight to the fifth power, all right? Now for this one, we're going to use uh, 1826. And 1826, that's uh, Bernard Ryman when he was born. Uh, that was one of Gauss's students. And to pick any year here, um, of course you need to pick a year that's going to give you some flexibility to get the other numbers. Eight is good, because you can take the cube root of eight and get two powers of two. Um, so what we did here, we're going to get, this one was a little more challenging, we're going to get uh, the first few primes from 2 to 113. So we're going to find I've taken some pictures of projects in the past. Here I used 1998 to find the twin primes. All right, and you can see the students did a really good job. I tell them they need to be creative with their making their numbers, the dot product, and making them equal to uh, twin primes. That was a project that we did. That was a, a few years ago. I'd have to look up and find that project. Okay, so for an example, say we want, we're doing a project and we're using the digits 1879, the year Einstein was born, and we want to get to 25. So the 8 is a good number because from 8 we can get the cube root of 8 and take the different powers of 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so forth. So we can see that the cube root of 8 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, to the 5th power it's gonna give me 32, and if I take away seven, that will give me 25. So my outer brackets here, we're gonna multiply, we'll say one times that, and then just simply times one. I'll make this 901 by saying zero power. And this again, this reinforces some of the concepts we've learned, shows the students how to use different brackets to communicate clearly in mathematics. I would recommend uh, this number to do your first project, 1887. That's when Ramanujan was born. And say we wanted to get equal to 42, uh, the unit, the answer to the universe. So for that, we can use our powers of two using the cube root of eight, which is two. And we could use the 32 and the eight, which would give us 40. So one, two, three, four, five, this would be to the fifth root. And we'll add on this one to the third root, which would just be eight. We don't even have to do that. There's 40, and then we can add on one plus one more, plus another one, seven to the zero. So that's 32 and eight, which is 40, 41, 42. Project, I usually have a, a group leader. I have two students or one student become a checker. Uh, another student who's in charge of creating uh, or checking the creativity of the numbers on the outside and get everyone involved. And this would take usually about three or four days, a week at the most.